How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video showcasing more of the Pico CTF 2022 Capture the Flag training environment, etc. All right, I'm gonna hop over to my computer screen. Uh, I am running Kali Linux as the virtual machine that I'm using to hack from. I have a directory created for us in the Pico CTF, and I also have a text editor open ready to rock whenever we get into it. Uh, I'm gonna move on to this cryptography category challenge called Transposition Trial. And it says, hey, our data got corrupted on the way here. Luckily, nothing got replaced, but every block of three got scrambled around. The first word seems to be three letters long. Maybe you can use that to recover the rest of the message. Okay, so we can download the corrupted message here. We have a link we could download from, and I guess we can dive into it. I'll move into the cryptography category. I'll create a directory for transposition trial. There we go. Made it, wanted to make sure I spelled that right. W, get this file down, and let's see what we are up against. We have a message.txt. It says, oh, okay, the first word was three characters long and I'm assuming okay it, it's the if things are shifted just like that and then spaces could follow it and okay we we have fl and I, I'm gonna guess this first portion is okay the flag is pico ctf and we just need to shift these around a little bit um let's do that in python you know what I mean Let's, let's just crank out some quick Python code to cut that up for us. We'll create a shebang line as we always do. And we'll open this message.txt file. Message.txt as file pointer. This is boilerplate stuff. Context manager width to open the file. Doesn't have to, we don't have to close it manually. It handles that for us. We will read from that and we can display, hey, we have our contents read in just fine. So if we know that, hey, things kind of got scrambled in sets of three, and the first word is the word the, then we might be able to say, okay, the T moved to the front. The original thing moved to the middle. The first in, uh, character moved to the middle. And the last or the middle one moved to the end. Did that make any sense? I, I'll show it to us. I'll, I'll show you how we can kind of play with that. Let's do a for i in range counting from zero to the length of our contents or the message uh, iterating by three. Yeah, like as a step value. So that way we could basically say if we were to print out our i value, we keep cruising through this. I'll show you in the build output. We start from zero, count to three, Count again, six, nine, 12. So we're moving by multiples of three. That will allow us to kind of take out a chunk. We can say the chunk will equal the contents split from i to i plus three. So we could get each of those chunks that seem to be rearranged. The FL, GA, SI, building out what will be rearranged as Pico CTF. Now, because these are all three characters long for every single segment, consider these H like the value A, E like we can call that B, and T we can call that C. And that will just be a placeholder name for any of the positions in our sets of three. Does that make sense? So let's say A, B, and C will equal all of their appropriate positions in our chunk, yeah? So we could then print out how we knew things would be rearranged. The T or the very last index would come first, C, because so, we're, we're trying to recreate this to the word the, right? So C at the end comes first, and then what we knew was our A placeholder for the letter H came second, and then E as the middle piece came at the end. That was B for our middle position. Does that kind of make sense? Now when I print that out, we kind of get a mess here, but that carves it out properly in those sets of three. So all we could do is, is 
put these together now. Rather than commas, let's actually concatenate and join these. And let's say the end, rather than being a new line after a set of three, will just be nothing. So we could continue on and carry whether it includes spaces or not. So we will then, after I print this out, <laughs> get the result here, the flag is transposing is expensive in lead speak. Yeah? Okay. So, as we've always done, let's just clean this up. Let's just build out a flag uh, as we loop through this. Let's say flag can append all of those values for us. And after our loop, we'll be super smart and join this together as a flag. Um, and we'll actually reset that because as we've done just before, we want to carve out just exactly this last word here. If we split it up, including the spaces, we're just going to index from the end, get negative one, and we'll, then we can print out the flag, right? There we go. Now we have solely Pico CTF transposing is expensive, and that is how we can solve that challenge. All we're doing is chunking it up and kind of flip-flopping the letters around in the order that we knew was the one that made sense because the word the had to be arranged in that specific way, right? So let's run that get flag script, save it to our flag.txt, and we can go ahead and submit that as the answer to that challenge. Perfect. We can save that challenge, call it complete. Oh, um... I think I just ruined my, I, I wanted a get flag Python script to be used there. So let's actually use the Python to recover and reset. I wanted to run the finish command to denote that the transposition trial challenge is now completed. And we are cruising through a good amount of those cryptography category challenges. Uh, moving onward, moving on to what's next, beating stuff up and solving challenges for Pico CTF 2022. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got to learn something new, maybe practice some of those Python skills in a quick cursory. Hey, good way to learn. Little activity here with Pico CTF. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please do those YouTube algorithm things. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, everybody. I love you. I'll see you in the next video.